Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now today we're playing the Half-Life 2 RTX demo. This has released today on the 18th of March. It features two levels and if you've played Half-Life 2 on modern hardware, the original game that is, you'll know it runs pretty well. Hundreds of frames per second to be had even at the highest settings. This though, well I have a feeling it's going to be a little more demanding. So to open the settings we hit Alt and X and what we're going to do is we're just going to start off with uh, DLSS off and Ultra. I'm using an RTX 4060 for this video. By the way, this is a modern uh, entry-level card, although I don't really uh, like using the term because it's not that cheap, but it's a lot more tempting than it was at launch, put it that way. So basically, I've gone with DLSS off to start with. We'll go with Ultra, um, turn motion blur off because I don't like it personally. I also turn VSync off. We're using about 75% of our eight gigabytes of VRAM buffer here. And we also have the enhanced assets enabled as well. If we're testing out an RTX game, we want to go all out, right? Now, when it comes to the standard in-game settings, there isn't really anything you can change. We have the resolution, display mode, aspect ratio, advanced here just gives us a field of view slider. And yes, we're getting about 21 frames per second, but the lighting sure does look lovely. Let's begin a benchmark here. Oh, look at that. That's looking pretty nice. Um, now, some people were saying they didn't really like how this changed, like how the game feels and looks. You know, it takes away from the original flavor. But the original game isn't going anywhere, you know, and uh, this is definitely worth trying out if you have a ray tracing capable system. Perhaps not. Oh, dear. Poor chap. Um, yeah, perhaps not under these circumstances, you know, with... Uh, Ultra and DLSS off that oh oh my goodness are we are we more than 30 seconds in because that's going to cause an issue otherwise <laughs> yeah if, if you have a capable graphics card it's well worth trying out perhaps not with DLSS off oh look at that the muzzle flash lights up the room that what what's happening who's attacking me all right yeah so I've I've not played this far into oh dear he's not a very good looking chap is he right let's uh Wow, this actually looks pretty good. Not running too great, I must admit. But that's what DLSS is for, right? So we're going to actually enable that momentarily. We'll end the benchmark and we'll actually enable some DLSS. Almost call it DLR, whatever that is. Uh, we'll keep Ultra for now. Um, for general, we'll go to the DLSS preset. And oh, now I've just clicked disabled again. Nice one. Upscaling enabled upscaler type ray reconstruction transformer so dlss4 here dlss mode okay can we not change that oh custom nice right so transformer mode dlss4 we'll change this to performance we're only using 70 percent of our available vram now as opposed to 75 we'll hit save settings we'll close that we'll resume ah there we go my graphics card is still absolutely racing, but uh, it's certainly performing a lot better. Let's just uh, shoot these barrels. Look at that lovely lighting effects. Whoa, very nice. The frame, oh dear, nearly blew myself up then. Yeah, the uh, lighting effects still look pretty good, actually. What on earth has happened in here? Seriously, ooh. Oh no, don't tell me I've run out of ammo. All I've got is a crowbar to take on this guy. Yeah, anyway, looking pretty good. Whoa. <laughs> Everything just keeps making me jump. That's no use. The gravity gun is of no use here. Back to the crowbar, lads. No, nope. get, get. Look, I'm trying to showcase the the beautiful lighting. All right, let's just. Can we hit that? Let's just. What am I doing? <laughs> Why did I think that was a good idea? At least I took the enemies out, but I also took myself out as well. All right, so I've switched to the Nova Prospect level here. This looks really good. I'm using the same settings, uh, the ultra ray tracing preset with DLSS set to performance mode. We didn't have to quite drop things to ultra performance. I think this is a sort of sweet spot. I think asking for a constant 60 FPS plus on this card is a bit too much, but wow, this looks really good. I think we might have found our thumbnail. That'd be lovely, won't it, with a toilet in the background? <laughs> can we destroy that? Oh, wow, we can. Yeah, I'm going to sound like a right amateur here uh, because I haven't played through Half-Life 2 all the way before. I think I came really close to it, but I just never finished it. I don't even know why, to be honest. Ooh, was there something? Yeah, something's trying to attack my head in there. Let's uh, crossbow you. 
or not. We'll try. We'll try our best. There we go. Got him. You do need pretty beefy hardware, but as I said, it runs okay here with performance DLSS mode. We could drop to ultra performance. We'll we'll do that actually. We'll see how this impacts things. Oh, oh X. You don't want to go into the options menu. You can't really uh, adjust anything there. So we'll go ultra performance with DLSS 4. So it should look a little better uh, with the transformer model as opposed to the CNN model. Uh, we actually have some developer settings that we can mess around with as well. Uh, so we can change camera options, things like that. Um, we have rendering options, you know, as well as the graphic settings. We also have post processing, uh, post effects, things like that, lighting, path tracing options. So there's loads of stuff we can mess around with here. I haven't actually played around with any of these. We're keeping it simple. For this one, we have some developer settings to camera animation, advanced, loads, loads of stuff that you can mess around with. But as I said, I'm keeping it simple for this one. Oh, wow. The water looks good. All right. Forget the ladder. We'll just jump over the edge. Yeah. I mean, it's running pretty well now as we make our way through this little basement zone. Plus 60 frames per second. Do you know what I think we're going to do now after we make our way up here and inevitably get wiped out? is oh oh my goodness oh that was terrifying <laughs> yeah i think we're going to try and find a nice little sweet spot now so you can play this ultra with 60 plus fps if you want to utilize the ultra performance dlss mode with the 4060 but i think we're going to try and find a nice sweet spot here don't want to mess around with the options too much we'll stick to the presets before i break something so we'll end the benchmark again we'll jump back into the settings i keep going to go to the options when really i need all x we'll go to general um we will Keep the DLSS custom preset and transformer mode, but I think we'll go with quality. We'll save settings, 30 frames per second. We want higher than that. And we'll go for the high settings here. What's that gonna do? Uh, not much, four frames per second more. How does it look on low? Even with low and the quality DLSS preset, we can't really hit 60 frames per second, to be honest. Um, as you know, we'll stick with low, not custom. How hard is it to click a box? Come on. Right, so we'll go with low, and then we shall go with DLSS transformer mode, because it looks a little better. And then performance? How's that going to do? All right. So we can't really hit 60 frames per second anyway. What about ultra performance? Was well, that going to make any difference? We can, but it's not really making much of a difference. Like here's low with ultra performance DLSS, right? And then we'll go into the settings. We'll change this to ultra. And just to check that we are still using DLSS ultra performance. I mean, we're not losing much. We're, we were over 60, but now we're just below. But I think for the sake of actually uh, making full use of the ray tracing options here we may as well just stick to ultra for the sake of a few frames obviously if you're adamant on plus 60 frames per second with this demo you may think differently to be honest i'm i'd be happy with plus 40 you know ever since playing on the steam deck 40 plus fps to me seems okay i don't really want to sacrifice the visual quality or the resolution this much so i think what we'll do is we will switch to balanced using the RT preset. See if we can hit 40 FPS. No, we can't. Performance. Wow, this is demanding. Yeah, so we've got the performance DLSS transformer mode with the ultra preset now. Let's do high. All right, yeah, so this is good for plus 40 FPS. It feels okay. Ooh, if you want plus 60 frames per second, you're looking at ultra performance, really, with an RTX 4060. That's just the way it is. This is pretty demanding. I'm enjoying myself so far, even though I'm pretty useless. That still looks really nice in there. Oh, there's a toilet. Let's destroy it. Oh, no. Can't fire through the bars. Come on. Yes, got him. <laughs> yeah, so anyway... Half-Life 2, RTX on the 4060, pretty demanding as you may expect, but it's looking pretty nice and it's well worth a try at least. If you have a higher end RTX card, let's say a 30 series, 3080 for example, or maybe a 4080, maybe you're lucky enough to have a, ooh, a 
50 80 50 90 i'm sure you're going to get some really nice performance from it and i am dead to be honest yeah i think high with performance rtx mode is a nice middle ground with performance uh, sorry transformer rtx mode as well because it's going to look a little better than the old cnn model i apologize if this video has been a bit all over the place but i just wanted to sort of play this as i went along just to see how it ran this is a bit of a first impressions video i hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless i hope this gives you some idea as to whether or not you want to download this i think you should i mean it doesn't cost you anything you may as well try it out because it is free it gives you a good look at a couple of levels reimagined with rtx so well worth a go in my opinion both levels are going to perform pretty similar to each other there are going to be certain areas in both that are going to be a little more demanding i think probably with a 4060 high as you can see here with dlss set to performance it's probably going to be your best bet just to sort of um, make up for any and all frame drops that you may see in those more intensive areas at this point i'm just running away seems to be the best option Ooh, that looks nice and scary <laughs> All right, we're going to switch to the... Can we get past it? This is going to be a disaster, isn't it? Oh, here we go. We'll duck underneath. Right, let's use the gravity gun. Yes, there we go. How did I forget how to use this thing? Um, can we Can we get... No, I'm not going anywhere near that. Oh, no. It's knocked it out of my hand. Right, I just want a bit of this wooden crate to wipe him out with. It looks like you're getting a tin of paint to the head. Let's try again. No, nope. <laughs> come on, there we go, right, run away, let's go. But there we are, Half-Life 2 RTX on the 4060. Playable with some reduced settings, but worth a download in my opinion. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.